This church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Amen. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence and have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves, get all the little wiggles out, get all the <laughs> mindsets out, you know. <laughs> We're thinking about what time the Cowboys are coming on, you know, and focus on what God has for you. And say, man, I ain't letting go. You know, it's just like waiting for Christmas, you know. You go open all your presents, you know. Or he's got something for you. Uh -huh. Amen. He's got a gift for you. But you have to receive it. And in order for you to receive it, you got to catch it. Amen. Yeah. He's holding it out for you. But you got to go and take it. Once you take it, it's yours. Amen. So yeah. get ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. He set a table before us. But before you partake, you got to go sit and relax and partake of what he's given us. Amen. Yeah. Or what he set out for us. So prepare yourselves. Listen, he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Why does he correct us? Because he's our Heavenly Father and we're his children. Yes. See yourself that way. <clears throat> Don't go around calling yourself a sinner. Don't go around calling yourself a loser. Mm -hmm. Don't go labeling yourself the way the world wants you to yes, label yes. yourself. Label yourself. Call yourself what the Word of God says about you. Not what the world says, but what the Word says about you. Amen. You're a child of God. Amen. He's forgiven your sins. He's forgiven and forgotten those. So don't let the enemy or people or anybody hold them against you. And don't let nobody hold you back from fulfilling what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. It's time to press on. He says, press on. Amen. You've fallen, but it's time to get up. Confess your sin, repent, and press on with Him. Amen. And that's for each and every one of us. And we can do that on a daily basis. Amen. Not just once in a while, but on a daily basis is pursue. Amen. Go and take. You remember, we're going to be talking about putting on the armor. And the whole armor covers the front. Nothing on the back. No child of God should turn around and be coward and turn it back and go back, you know. So, only one place in the Bible where... <laughs> Lot's wife turned around and went, you know, turned around and when she did, she turned into a pillar of salt. Amen. So we're not to cower down because the greater one is with us. So I'm excited. Grab your Bibles, grab your swords, mighty soldier of God, mighty warrior, and let's make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Man, you can say that each and every day as you get up. Amen. So we're going to continue with victory in Jesus number two. Amen. Uh, okay. Let me read a few things here. I was uh, thanking the praise team because uh, that song we sang a few minutes ago says, Jesus set me free. Each and every day, you know, Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, when you're delivered and free from, from bondage, you know, the, the song says, Satan had me bound, mm -hmm. but Jesus set me free. Yeah. Just know this and remind yourself these things, you know, because we just want to think defeat all the time. We want to think down. We want to think negative all the time. Think positive. He wants to see yourself positive. See yourself a child of God. Amen. Amen. So, Jesus, I'm so glad Jesus set me free. And when you're glad, you put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be walking around with a, with a frown on your face. Jesus set me free. <laughs> Victory is mine. That's a believer's marching song. Amen. Praise God. Victory is mine daily. When I put in my faith and my trust in my, law, in my Lord, instead of just stepping out on my own, you know, just have Jesus with you. Put on Jesus each and every day. I've got my Jesus glasses. I had them on a few minutes ago, but I put my Jesus glasses on. When I spend time with him, I'm putting on Jesus. Amen. He says, put on the whole armor. You know what whole means? Whole means complete. Whole means the entire armor. Don't just put parts of it on. Put the whole armor, the complete, the entire, the whole armor of God. That's for us child God. Amen. That's yeah. for us. We're the mighty warriors of God. Amen. So let's remember that. And when you put your Jesus glasses on, you see the world, 
the way he sees it. You see people the way he sees them. For God so loved the world. He didn't come to condemn the world. He came to give us abundant life. Amen. And you're bringing, uh, you're bringing the light into a dark world. You're bringing the good news into a lost world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And that's each and every one of us can do these things. The Bible says we can do all yeah. things of God who strengthens us. So step out in faith, mighty soldier of God or mighty warrior of God. Amen. <laughs> I think we, we said this last week. It's, it wasn't the giants that kept the people of God from going into the promised land. That's it. Amen. It was the fear. Mm -hmm. yep. Amen. It was the words they spoke. They sent 12 spies. 10 of them came back with negative reports. Yeah. Two came back with positive reports. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go out on a daily basis. And if you're not full of God, you're going to be full of the world. And you're going to be full of defeat. Yeah. Amen. So, prepare yourselves before you go out. You know, I'm getting way ahead of myself. But, um, <laughs> well, Psalms 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has given me. I will rejoice and will be glad rejoice. in it. Thank you, Lord, for Amen. this beautiful day. Amen. I'm walking out in victory. This is the day that he's given me to serve him. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking out in victory. Amen. Victory Amen. is mine. I'm walking out and rejoice and be glad regardless of the circumstances. Amen. Oh, man, it's cold outside, man. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Let me see. It wasn't the giants in Canaan land that, that held them back the Israelis out. It was the fear and the words they spoke. Watch your words and watch your actions. Amen. You get around familiar people and you start talking like them and you start thinking like them and pretty soon you're going to join them. So you got to be careful. You know, you hang around with skunks. Oh. <laughs> and soon you're going to be smelling like a skunk. So you got to be careful. He said, renew your mind with the word of God. Just because you're around them don't mean you got to be like them. Or talk like them or act like them. Right. Amen. Hey, we work together, but that's about it. Okay? And uh, you know, pray for your work area. Pray for where you go. Wherever you happen to be, pray for that place. Pray, pray for those people. Amen. Ask the Lord to bless them. Ask for them, you know, for for, for, for salvation. And say, Lord, if there's a way, show me that I can lead them to you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. So don't be looking for you know if pastor was here if brother so and so or sister so and so uh, they they can lead them to Christ no you can mm -hmm. because they see you're the greatest example and you're the closest thing to the Bible they'll ever be around That's right you're it you know yes so praise God you know don't see yourself the way the world sees you mm -hmm. you're a mighty person for God you're a mighty warrior for God Amen so let's remember this. Watch your words, watch your actions, speak faith-filled words, step out in faith daily, mighty warrior of God. And I want to read you uh, a scripture break, and it goes like this. So mighty warriors, we're products, we, are we products of our best? We're not products of our best, but we don't have to be prisoners of it. It says, God's purpose is not limited to your past. Mm -hmm. God is not looking for perfect people. He's okay. looking for available people. Yeah. Are you making yourself available? And that's what he's waiting for. It says, Bible heroes God used were not perfect. He turned a murderer named Moses into a leader. He turned a coward named Gideon into a courageous hero. Yeah. And he can do the, um, these amazing things with the rest of your life yes. Yes. also. Amen. God specializes in giving people a fresh start, a new beginning. Amen. God has equipped you to win. This is the hour for the mighty warriors of God to wake up, get up, and press on with mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Man, that 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 is is, is awesome. And remember, yes, yes. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18 is talking about therefore if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is passed away. The past is gone. Yes. Forget about what happened in the past. Behold, all the things have become new. Mm -hmm. And 18 says, and now all things are, are of God, and as he has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry yes. of reconciliation. So don't see yourself useless, no good, like the world labels you. See yourself a mighty warrior for God. Amen. See yourself in this minister of reconciliation, bringing people, bringing the truth to these people. 
because all they know is the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they got mindsets of the negative things. Right. But you are the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever be around. And you're that minister of reconciliation, mm -hmm. bringing this light into this dark world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. And I know, but it says here, let me see. It says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. Just think about how many times Jesus spent time with his father. Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. You know, he was born in this world. So he was human. Mm -hmm. yep. And he needed strength. Why? Because he was beaten down all the time. Mm. And he would come against, and he went against all these negative things right. coming against him. Lord, I need your strength each and every day. What about it? He's the greatest example. So if yes, he needed yes. the Father's help, we need yes. his help. Amen. Amen. And he says, you know what? Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. Amen. Lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm. Do all these things. But he says, you know what? I'm going. And he was taken up. But he says, he's seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Yes. He didn't forget about us. Yes, we yes. forget about him, mm -hmm. but he didn't forget about us. Mm -hmm. He's there for us. Amen. So let's remember these things. This is awesome. All right. So, <laughs> Woo. praise God. Does not matter what the circumstance, the situation, the conditions, the sickness looks like. Again. Psalms 118, 24. Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has made. I I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We gotta focus on what He wants us to focus on. And we're gonna focus in on Him. And the Bible says to seek Him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. Seek Him first. Mm -hmm. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Right. And that's all we gotta do is dethrone yourself no, and put him yeah. on the throne <laughs> and keep him on the throne. Uh -huh. Amen. That's regardless it. of what's coming your way, regardless yeah. of what the priorities are, yes. what the plan of the day is, mm -hmm. things to do is, you know, yeah. put him first. When you yes. do this, you know, things will change yes. and you'll have peace about the situation. Amen. Yeah. So regardless of what the circumstances, doesn't matter what the odds look like. If <clears throat> God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. So if it's just you, so what? It's me and God. Amen. So know that you're not by yourself. If you're wanting to do it by yourself, he'll let you because mm -hmm. you have your free will. Yes. Amen. And he'll let you. But spend time with him. Spend time Amen. with him. Say, no, you're my Lord and Savior. And I'm going to do what you want me to do. And I'm available to do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let him know. I'm here, Lord. Use me. Yes. Jesus' ability is not affected by our circumstances. Yes, yes. Amen. Not affected by our circumstances. We try to put limits. Well, we, we're thinking in our minds. Remember, each and every day we fight a spiritual battle. You got to be in the Word to fight a spiritual battle. If you're not in the Spirit, you're defeated. Because you can't fight a spiritual battle in the flesh. Right. Amen. So, doesn't matter what the odds look like. Remember David and Goliath? Mm. <laughs> Who is this kid? Finally, uh, Saul, King Saul says, okay, if you're going to go against this, against this time, <laughs> wear my armor. Wear my, oh you my know, God. wear this. You know, people want you to do what yes. they want them, what yes. they want you to do. Uh -huh. King Saul says, put my armor on. Saul uh -huh. was a big man. Yeah. Yes. And, it was, and David was a young boy. Mm -hmm. That was too big for him. He says, no, that's okay. He said, I'm going to I'm going to use what God gave me. Mm -hmm. And you use what God gave you. Yes, yes. That is sufficient. Yes. He was a shepherd boy. And you know what? He used his slingshot. Mm -hmm. That's what he was used to. He said, when the bear came at me, when the lion came at me, God was with me. And the same God is going to be with me when I go against this guy. Yes. Amen. So regardless of what the odds look mm -hmm. like. Amen. Mm -hmm. I got a few more for you. <laughs> walls of Jericho. They built these walls of Jericho so oh, yeah. wide. They, they they had chariots go oh, around us. Yeah. It was so wide. Mm -hmm. Amen. Impossible for men. Mm -hmm. But what's impossible for men is possible through God. Yes. Yes. And then he gave he, 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 he gave he gave uh, uh, Joshua uh, a, a plan. Yes, and he, he told him what to do. Yes, but he, he, he says, don't have your best warriors up front. He says, put your 
Crazy or something. I mean, that really mm -hmm. messed him up. Yeah, He's yeah. a great general, huh? <laughs> but guess what? It worked. Mm -hmm. And then when they blew those trumpets, that wall yeah. came down flat yeah, to the ground. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm thinking like brother thinking, he says, what's it going to take, man? How many sticks of dynamite? He had no dynamite, you know? <laughs> but God is more powerful than dynamite, okay? Yes. Bulldozers, caterpillars, whatever you want to call them. That wall came down yes, flat. And they walked in, they marched in, and destroyed the enemy. Yes. Amen? So it doesn't matter. <laughs> How the situation looks like that's you know and it. that you're coming against that's it. when you're with him those those walls have to come down they have to come down, they have to come down. you know you're confessing the word you're a child of god and god is for you so mm -hmm. who could be against you that's it. them walls and mountains you know you're speaking to the mountains they got to come down amen yes, they do. <laughs> um Praise God. what are the odds <laughs> moses i think moses is ready to kill himself uh, Moses says, you called me to do this. Now here's a sea and here's a uh, Egyptian army coming right, right after us. So what am I going to do? So God told him what to do. And guess what? <laughs> what are the odds? The, the sea parted. The red sea parted. Mm -hmm. Impossible. But not for God. Mm -hmm. He told Noah to build him an ark. Uh -huh. That's impossible for me. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But he made, he did it, and God had a plan, yes. and all these things, all those pieces of wood and board came together, oh, and yeah. create, and He created this big old ark. And not only that, all these animals came. Mm. I mean, that's God's plan. Mm. What a God! <laughs> really? I mean, all these. How about uh, Enoch? Mm -hmm. Anybody remember Enoch in the Bible? <laughs> he says, Enoch walked with God, and all of a sudden. He was no more. Yep. He was gone. <laughs> hey, one, one of these days you may be walking with God and you'll be gone. It doesn't matter. The thing about it is, if God is for you, who can be against you? That's it. Amen. Three Hebrew children. Mm. Daniel and the lion's den. On and on and on and on yes. and on. Mm -hmm. Jesus turned water into wine. Mm. Amazing. Miracles happening. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, no the God that you serve mm -hmm. is greater than any other thing. Amen? Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Because of Jesus has already done it all. So victory is mine. Yes. Victory is yours. That's your marching song each and every day. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. I'm going out. And I'm going to have victory because victory is mine. Amen. You can say that each and every day. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Deuteronomy, uh, let me see. Victory is mine. Go ahead, Carl. I forgot we have some slides for you. <laughs> yeah, victory is mine. This is victory in Jesus. The battle's already won. Yes. Not only that, he won the battle. Remember mm -hmm. that you're coming against a defeated foe. Satan is already defeated. Yes, he is. But you got to remind him because he's so mm -hmm. stupid he forgets. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to remind him. And you got to remind him with the word of God. Let him know you're defeated. You're a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. And you, not only that, you have to take authority. Yes. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, authority, oh, love. love, and a sound mind. Amen. And you have to take it. Yes. yes you if do. you don't take and use it, he'll just run you over. Yes, yes. Remember, part-time believers, no mm -hmm. man's to a full-time devil. Because yeah. he is persistent. <laughs> we talked about that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Man, he is ready. Yeah. <laughs> he is ready. There you go. Uh, no, uh, no one. There's victory in Jesus. Yes! Victory in Jesus. You can say that each and every day when you get up or wherever you happen to be going. Victory in Jesus. Man, he is he is determined. He is ready. <laughs> Keep going. Victory is mine in Jesus' name. Amen. The thing about it is watch your words and your actions. Confess the right things. I'm confessing the right things. I have victory. Victory is mine in Jesus' name. Amen. And I, I, I just don't, you can think it, but why not speak it? I yeah. want to speak it and hear yeah. it. Yeah. I want to speak it and have those around me listen or hear it. Mm -hmm. And I want the enemy mm -hmm. to hear it. Yes. Amen. Yes. I want them to know my language has changed. Mm -hmm. yes. 
I'm not speaking defeat anymore. I'm speaking victory. Yes. I'm yes. speaking positive and not negative. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm not going to speak like my brothers or, or my friends mm -hmm. <laughs> to please them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak the way the word of God mm -hmm. tells me yes. to speak. Yes. Because I want to please him, yes. not the world. Amen. So Praise God. those friends can go. He's going to bring the right friends around. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Victory is mine. Thank you. Keep going. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. Here we go. You need to know this every time. It says the cross is not a place of defeat, but of victory. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you see me wearing crosses sometimes. This is a star of David. But you see me wearing a cross. I'm, I don't. I don't hold this against anybody. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> when you see my crosses, it's just a cross. There's no Jesus crucified on right, that cross amen. because he's no longer there. Amen. He was taken down and he rose again. So that's why I wear a cross with no Jesus crucified. Mm -hmm. I don't need to remember that. I need to remember it. He rose and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Yes. So I'm not holding that against anybody. I'm just saying, when you see my crosses, you won't see one. And we sell them at the bookstore. But I won't wear one with uh, Jesus crucified. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Devil says, they're all mine. <laughs> and Jesus wow. responded, over my dead body. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And he did. Yes. And he gave himself up, you know. They couldn't they couldn't kill him until he surrendered himself to the Father. And says, It's finished. And he says, You know, Father, forgive him. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Right. And he, and he gave himself back to the Father. But he was laid and he rose again. So not over my dead body. No. Nope. <laughs> Keep going. Fear not. I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, and you are mine. Isaiah uh, 48, 43 and 1. I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. And sometimes you need to see this because you feel like you're a nobody. And where am I going? What am I going to do? Well, Jesus called you. He's got a, he's got a job for you. Yes. He's got a mission for you. He's got an assignment for you. And you need to go to him so he can tell you what to do. But don't just beat yourself down, just like the prodigal son, you know, and, and go into the world and, and, and just give it all. Say, man, I, I need to go back to Father's house. Yeah, you need to come back. A lot of you are still running. It's time you stop. It's time you confess him as you Lord and Savior and start doing what he wants you to do. Listen, when he calls you, he don't take the call from you. It's there. Yes. Amen. Whatever gifts he's given you are there. They're not going away. So one day you'll have to stand before him and answer and ask him why you didn't use this for him. Hmm. Amen. Right. So hmm. let's get it right now. You know, let's get it right. And, and and confess him as your Lord and Savior and start pressing on. He's not going to hold you and say, well, you know, you've done this and you've been hmm. gone so long. Now you got to do this. Mm -mm. No, he wants you to dust yourself. Yeah. Get up and press on. Amen. Amen. It's press on and start learning. Start growing in the words, maturing yes. in the word of God. Amen. And Amen. doing what the word of God says for you to do. Amen. But it says here, it says, I have called you. You can scratch that you and put your name right there. Uh -huh. I have called you, Jose, by your name. Mm -hmm. And you are mine. So if you're giving yourself a of whatever, don't. Because you're Amen. very important to him. Amen. Amen. And whatever he's called you to do is important. Yes, it is. And you want to be on God's team because mm -hmm. God's team, there's victory in yeah. Jesus. Amen. So, amen. Praise God. That's our message. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. There we go. We just read about mighty warriors. Mm -hmm. Be a warrior of God, a not a warrior. Yes. You don't need no warriors. Mm -hmm. If you're worrying, that means you're not trusting. You don't have faith in him. Mm -hmm. He's already defeated the enemy. he got great plans for you. Amen. As a matter of fact, uh, let me see. We haven't used the word yet. But mm -hmm. let's go to uh, Proverbs mm -hmm. chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and 6. 
Super giant words. I can, I can see them. I don't need my glasses. <laughs> Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says what? Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all heart. thine heart mm -hmm. and lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. If you're not renewing your mind to the Word of God like He tells us to, mm -hmm. you're going to start thinking the way you mm -hmm. think. And you're going to yes. start thinking negative. negative. You start going to start thinking defeat. Yeah. You're going to start thinking like the world. Yeah, yeah. When we're supposed to renew our minds with the Word of God yes. so we can think the way He wants us to think yes. and think positive, Amen. think victory and not defeat. Mm -hmm. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not in your own understanding. It says, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He's going to direct your path. He's got a path of victory for you, Amen. He's got a path for you, each and every one of you. So don't see yourself excluded, see yourself included. Amen. Amen. You're in this body of, of Christ, you know. As a matter of fact, we're the church. Yeah. Nobody ever told you this. We're the church. We're the body of Christ. He's the head. We're the body. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use his body to get his word out. Amen. And do what we need to do here. Mm -hmm. uh, another one. Jeremiah 29, 11. Mark these and you can go back and uh, read them again. Or read them in a different uh, translation. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the yes. Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to yeah. give you an extended end. Amen. Amen. He's got plans for you. Amen. He's got plans for you. So know that. Yeah, you. Don't see yourself excluded. Include yourself. If you start listening to the world, You'll yeah. exclude yourself because you're never good enough. Because you're never qualified. Amen? So, don't listen to the world. Listen to what the Word of God says about you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. Jesus says, we have victory in Jesus. Lean and stand on His victory. Learn to fight the good fight of faith. Not just once in a while, but each and every day. Yeah. Fight the good fight of faith each and every day. Every time you get up, start confessing the words. Spend yes. time with Him. Seek Him first. Spend time with Him. He gave you a wake-up call, so you might as well just live for Him. Mm -hmm. And know that He wants you to go and do for Him. Amen? Amen. He's called you. you Since fear not, church, if you feel the cares, the worries of the world, mm -hmm. the defeats, the hopelessness, uh, false accusations, Feel the words. The world is at the end. That's all you keep hearing now. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, now you you listen. You're hearing uh, World War Three, mm -hmm. and we're heading that way. Mm -hmm. Well, if you read the Bible, we're, it's already there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wars and rumors of war. Mm -hmm. Keep your mind renewed to the things of God, and keep pressing on, child of yes, God. Amen. Yes. Don't get trapped. Don't get caught up in in the things of the world, and taking all the cares of the world. Mm -hmm. Because we're supposed to take it off and cast it on Him. Yeah. Again, Second Timothy one and seven says this in New King James: For God has not given you mm -hmm. a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Wow. Know that Jesus paid it all in full, mm -hmm. completely. So just let it go. Yes. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. the, the, the praise team said a few minutes ago and said, "Love is victory is mine. Love is mine. Joy is mine. Happiness is mine." Prosperity is mine. Every promise in the Bible yes, is mine. Is mine. Amen. Amen. Yes. But you have to confess it. And you have to say it. Amen. Don't just be silent about it. Speak it out. You know, these things are yours. You know? You got to speak it out. You got to go in there and dig it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. God cannot lie. Right. He says, if you do, you if he's going to do it, he says you can count on it. <laughs> Remind yourself, victory really, really is yours. Amen. Yes. So, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Know yeah, you, that you're a mighty warrior for God and you yes. can do all these yes. things. Amen. Praise God. We're not fighting for, for victory. We're fighting from victory mm -hmm. each and every day as you step out. Amen. This is 
a place that we assemble ourselves together and we encourage one another. Hey, brother, hey, sister, you can make it, you know. Mm -hmm. And let them know everything's going to be fine. But once we hit the door, you know, it's mm -hmm. the battle's on. Oh, gosh. And you can have victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Victory is mine. Yes, it is. Regardless. Oh. Why? Because the greater one is with me. Yes. Amen. The Bible says so. Amen. Amen. Right. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the he world. That is in the world. We, uh, a few Sundays back, we talked about my God is bigger. Mm -hmm. Bigger than any mountain. Yes. Bigger than any problem. What is, your, yes. what is your mountain? What is your problem? Yours might be different than mine. Mm. And there's cares, worries, anxieties, mm -hmm. financial problems, family problems. Whatever kind of problems, mm -hmm. but still, he's greater than all yes, these things, <laughs> and have peace about him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're gonna worry yourself to no good. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. We have still we have victory, victory in him daily, mm -hmm. and fight that good fight of faith. We all have a choice each and every day: trust in Jesus and live victoriously, or we can trust in our flesh or the world and live in defeat right we don't we don't we don't we don't need that jesus is busy behind the scenes all the time interceding for us he's blessing us protecting us he's showing us favor and the bible says john 10 10 he says that he's given us abundant life the enemy comes to do what steal kill, kill, kill destroy. destroy jesus says i come that you might have life and have it more abundant but you know <laughs> Your dad, your mom, your family, they might be gone and they left the wheel for you and they left some things for you, but you have to go in and get them. Find out what's, find out what's yours. We got to dig in the Word of God and find out what's yours right. and claim it. Mm -hmm. God left us all these promises. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can go to 2 Timothy and, and, and it tells us all these things. Mm -hmm. But you have to, excuse me, uh, Deuteronomy 28. And, 28 and, and and all these things belong to us but still you have to go find them yes. amen this is a good treasure honey yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. hallelujah thank you abundantly yes, jesus is. came so we could have his best uh -huh. his abundant reigning on us mm -hmm. each and every day can you imagine an abundance of jesus favor raining down on you at all times so he came that you might have life and have it more abundant but you have to go and claim these things and make these yes. things yours amen hallelujah mm -hmm. i think we we talked a little bit about this we talked about the uh, devil tempting jesus and if you go to you can write these down but if you go to matthew 4 1 through 11 it talks about jesus being tempted if you go to luke chapter 4 verses 1 through 13 amen it talks about jesus being tempted the devil came and told jesus if you do this if you do this he says mm -hmm. if you're the son of god right amen luke it says in luke 5 4 3 says the devil said unto him if thou be the son of god uh -huh. command these stones to be yes. uh made bread mm -hmm. he was tempting jesus mm -hmm. wanting jesus to do what he says yeah to bow down to him yes Amen. But Jesus never did. Okay. Amen. Jesus responded <laughs> just like the devil said, if you be the Son of God. Uh -huh. He says, Listen to me, bow down to me. And Jesus in verse 4 says, Jesus answered him and said, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So church, <laughs> it's so important that we speak faith filled words. Amen. We've said it so many times. Words are carriers the carriers of seed and whatever seed you sow or plant it's going to grow right. yeah. but it's going to grow in your life and you brought it there yeah. not only that you're speaking if you're speaking negative things uh -huh. you're opening the door for the enemy to come in yeah, yeah. because he's listening he yeah. goes as roaring lions he can hold the <laughs> bow and he's listening. Yes. You let him in, and he's gonna come in, mm -hmm. and he don't wanna leave. That's he wants it. to stay. You gotta drive him out. <laughs> you gotta drive him out. You gotta cast him out. <laughs> Verse eight says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. This is something we need to do. Mm -hmm. We we sang that song a few minutes ago. It says, Victory is mine. 
Mm -hmm. I told Satan, yeah. get thee behind. You gotta, you have to speak. Amen. Amen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Woo! Praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, let's see. Part-time believers is no match, so I full time right. them. Mm -hmm. So we gotta apply ourselves, and we gotta do these things. You know, I don't care what you work at, whatever you work at, you gotta do it at full blast, you know. Mm -hmm. And you gotta do something about it, mm -hmm. otherwise it's not gonna get done. That's it. Amen. And we gotta apply ourselves. Amen. Jesus <laughs> had opportunities to quit, but he didn't. That's it. Jesus had opportunities to pull back. But he, but he did. And again, he's our greatest example. So we need to do something. Lord, I need your strength. I need you now more than ever before. Oh yeah. And it's getting worse. You know. No, we got to stand strong in Him. Yes. Amen. Get the Word of God in you. And Lord, I'm standing in you. I'm standing on your Word. And nothing is going to move you except when He says, "Do or go." Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus handed us a victory when he overcame the cross. Amen. Amen. Devil knows this. Listen, devil knows what belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And he wants to keep you from yeah. fulfilling those things. Yeah. Amen. He wants to give you the easy way out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes, remember we talked about, uh, you, you have three-part being. You have a spirit. You have a soul, mind, world, and emotions. And you have a flesh, a body. Mm -hmm. So your spirit, man, you feed the word of God. Your 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 mind, your soul, you feed. You renew with the word of God, mm -hmm. and your flesh, you crucify. Because right. mm -hmm. your flesh just want to be easy, take it easy. Let's not go anywhere. I worked all week, so I'm going to take the weekend off. And I ain't going to church on Sundays. <laughs> I'm going to take it easy and start again on Monday. Oh. And then Monday through Friday, whatever, you know, is hell. But I'm going to take the weekend. I'm going to take Saturday and Sunday off. No. Amen. And that's the flesh. Just wants to be comfy oh, yeah. and, and do nothing. That's it. Amen. I guarantee you, Jesus was busy the whole time he was here. Yes, he was. Amen. And he had to. Sacrifice or, or crucify that flesh because uh -huh. he didn't want to do it. You know, he could have said many times, <laughs> "If there's any other way, Father, take this away from me, because I'm ready to get out of here." <laughs> you know, I hate these people. <laughs> he had those opportunities, but he never took them. We need to learn from that and yeah. press on with him. Lord, I yeah. need your strength. Yes. Amen. And I can do all things through oh. you, Lord. <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how much or how little you have. Just know the truth. Because the Bible says the truth is going to set you free. If you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're a threat to the enemy. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. David knew this. Amen. Just think about this. David, in closing. Amen. A little shepherd boy. When the man of God came to Jesse's house he had eight sons uh -huh. <coughs> and seven of them passed in front of the man of God and none of them that's not it and God said no 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 <laughs> so the man of God is confused you know and he says wow I said Jesse do you have another son <laughs> he says oh yeah but he's only a shepherd boy out there taking care of the sheep well, that's what the world sees about you. Mm. You know, oh, you're only a somebody. Mm. You're not good enough. Mm. You take care of the sheep. You take care of this. Yeah. You do this. Mm -hmm. It's not good enough for the world. Mm. You know what the man of God says? Is, Bring him. Mm -hmm. So he went to get uh, uh, David. You know, he stink like them sheep. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, man. He been working all day. Taking care of the sheep. You know, he is pastor of those sheep. Mm -hmm. The pastor is a shepherd. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And he was out there smelling everything. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to leave his uh, sheep, mm -hmm. but he came and he walked in front of the man of God. God says, I see him walking. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. you. God picked you. We just saw a few minutes ago. God selected you. Mm -hmm. Just like David walked in front of the man of God. God is saying, Fives, I love you and I picked you. I've selected you and I want you to do this, you know. So see yourself yes. like that. Yes. You are somebody going somewhere to happen for God. Amen. And know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Knowing that he's backing you. Amen. He's there for you. He says, yes. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here with you. Yeah. So don't see yourself lonely anymore because God is with you. And you can talk to him each and every time. You can go to the throne of God yes. boldly and visit with him. Lord, I need this. Lord, this is going on. He says, I know. I've got you. Amen. I'm going to take care of you. Yep. It's, it's a done thing. So anyway, in closing, yeah. <laughs> everything we ever needed for the victory in every situation is already provided for us at the cross. Amen. Every promise in the book is Bye. mine. Amen. You have to claim it. Amen. Hey, they might have left you all, your parents might have left you all these things, but you have to go and you got to claim it. That's right. Amen. You got to claim it. Otherwise, it's going to go to somebody else. Somebody else. Mm -hmm. But no, wait a minute. That's yeah. mine. You got to go in the Word of God mm -hmm. and say, man, these promises God, Jesus left are mine. Mm -hmm. I'm claiming them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to not only claim them, I'm going to start speaking them. Yes. Amen. Yes. Living them. Amen. Yeah. Thanks, God. <laughs> mm -hmm. So victory in Jesus. Victory is mine. Amen. Victory is mine always when I put my faith, my trust mm -hmm. in the Lord's ability to do uh -huh. amen amen and not my own amen i put all my trust and all my faith in mm -hmm. doing what he wants me yes. to do yes. and not my own amen Thank so Lord. let's remember that praise god amen praise so god. say this victory is mine victory is mine hallelujah did you get something yes. Yes. well good amen victory. those of you watching those of you listening listen victory is yours <laughs> the victory can be yours all you need to do is Confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. You know, quit running. Yeah. Your time's up. Yeah. You know, it's getting closer and closer. You know, tomorrow's not guaranteed. Yes. So yes. now, you know, all you need to do is say, Lord, I sin against you. I mm -hmm. repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do. He's going to receive you. He's not going to yeah. push you away like people say. He's going to receive you and say, dust you off. Get up and press on mm -hmm. and start living for him. Amen. And start confessing his word. Get his word in you so you can start mm -hmm. confessing his word. Yes. And start Amen. studying the word. Amen. Praise God. So he's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. It's not over. So you still got time. Amen. Get on God's winning team and say victory is yours. Amen. In Jesus. So praise God. Victory in Jesus. Praise God. Amen. We have sickness in your body. God didn't make us to be sick. God didn't make us to have all these malfunctions happening in us, you know. So I speak to those malfunctions to stop in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I speak to every part of my body to function the way he created it to function. Amen. And, and the Bible says that, that by Jesus Christ I am healed. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm speaking healing over my body. Quit confessing that sickness. Quit confessing that problem. Quit listening to that negative report. Yeah. And say, hey, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Regardless of what this says or regardless of what that says, I'm standing on the word of God. Yeah. And I'm claiming my healing right now in Jesus' name. So, amen. Speak that word over you. I receive his healing right now over my body. So, body, line up with the word of God. Receive yes. your healing yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. In time to give, go to our website, nbcbigben.com. <laughs> Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843 and Cash App, go to a New Beginnings Church of the Big Bean. God loves you and we love you. Remember, you have victory in Jesus each and every day. Praise God. Amen.